Welcome to OpenShift Enterprise Administration DO280. In this course, you'll learn how to install and configure an instance of OpenShift Enterprise, test the instance by deploying real-world application, and manage projects and applications through hands-on labs. OpenShift organizes uh, objects that we work with um, uh, by storing them on the master node in etcd. This uh, enables it to both have central access to, to the collection of resources, but also it allows it to continuously update the state of the resources in that um, object database. So what happens when you issue a, an OC or, or admin request is you've got a master node that you connect to in one of the endpoints, usually on port 8443, protected, of course, with SSL. And with these clients, what they do is they issue a REST request. Now, according to the contents of the REST request, the master then basically just updates the database of resources of objects and returns a response code to one of the clients, which, of course, might be OC, OAdmin, or OpenShift. Once you're logged in, create a new project called root-service-pod. Now, inside this project, we'll be creating two pods, an application, which is uh, the application we've already met in the previous exercise, and the database that the application depends on. So we have both of those defined in a JSON file already available in our labs directory, deploy root subdirectory, quote app dash with dash mysql db json. You can see this is an example of the list resource type, which contains a pod definition, specifying the mysql db container and a service belonging to that MySQL DB container, and a pod that defines the quote application. 